girl, are you still crying? Are you still crying? No, 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 no. It's not supposed to be like that, okay? It's not supposed to be like that. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a lady Christine case and guys um, If you've actually been following my videos You've noticed that I changed my name from Christine Cajeta to Christine case and guys don't be confused Yes, this is the same girl same girl you're seeing right here. Okay guys before I waste much of your time today We are back again with another hot topic. All right, and today's topic is How to move on instantly? Okay from that relationship all right i know it sounds so weird that one can actually move on so instantly okay from a relationship but guess what it's very very possible in this video um i actually came up with some points on how you can actually move on okay instantly from a relationship okay now what kind of a relationship am i talking about here okay so uh, the kind of relationship that I'm talking about right now is an intimate relationship, not just any other relationship, okay? So I'm going to concentrate on intimate relationship, all right? Intimate relationship, okay? So point number one, okay? First things first, you must accept the reality, okay? Learn to accept that that's how things are learn to accept the reality of the situation when you accept the reality of the situation girl i tell you boy i tell you things are gonna be much easier for you because then you're gonna concentrate on yourself and then you know just have that comfort within yourself and not panic about things so much because you have accepted that this is how it is this is how things are and there's nothing you can do to change the situation all right so learn to accept reality acceptancy is a very you know vital thing one can ever do okay so accept the situation no matter what girl no matter what just accept the situation so as you're trying to go through this phase of you um, trying to, you know, face the reality and accept that that's the way things are, there are certain things that you have to, you don't have to do, okay, literally, like you don't have to do them. What are these things? You have to stop begging. You have to stop pleading. You have to stop apologizing because... For instance, if the person you're trying to apologize to rejects your apology, how are you going to feel, okay? Things will just be worse for you and the healing process will just be, you know, it will just take more time. So avoid begging, avoid pleading, avoid apologizing. Just avoid those things, girl. Like, trust me, avoid those things. Point number two, okay? remove all visible reminders of your ex did you hear that just remove all visible reminders of your ex because that is going to take if you don't do that it's going to take more time than you thought it would can you imagine you walk in your room and all his pictures are there okay then how are you trying to forget about him how are you trying to move on deep inside there you're lying to yourself okay literally you lying to yourself so remove all those you know like reminders you know pictures in the phone if you have to keep them on, on your google drive if you have to. we talk of uh when we talk of reminders we're not just talking about pictures we're not just talking about things in your house that are going to remind you of him okay we're talking of every you know you have to look at everything literally everything that is going to remind you of him okay so for instance turn off you know what you can do is just turn off all notification okay on every social less um uh, social media sites 
turn off the notification so that you don't actually get any notification that they've uh, uploaded a video or they have posted a new uh, photo you know because can you imagine you you just go to Facebook like the first thing you get is Christine Case uploaded a new photo or uploaded a new video and then you look at that photo she's all bang she's all looking nice you know and then you keep on hurting turn off those notifications so that you don't get any notifications okay turn them off right now okay well, point number three if you feel like you cannot resist yourself from contacting your ex i suggest that you write down his or her number on a little piece of, piece of paper and give it to your friend to keep it um or rather just delete it okay because this is some situations where you feel so low and then you're like oh maybe if i text him now maybe he's gonna respond or maybe you know those days th those times when you you know when you're a little bit tipsy and then the first thing that comes to your mind is maybe if i text him now maybe things are gonna turn out better than last time girl no you're not supposed to do that okay you're not supposed to do that so if you feel you cannot resist yourself from contacting that ex of yours just delete the number delete the number you have to start by deleting it from you know your gadgets your phones before you delete it up there okay i know some people have like their their ex's numbers right in their head and they cannot just delete it but you just have to do it somehow anyway delete that number okay then that way is gonna you know stop you from texting unnecessary texts and regretting your text or your calls at the end of the day so just delete it okay just delete it point number four okay point number four you should uh you know you should stay busy and keep yourself occupied all the time okay now this is very important how do you stay busy and keep yourself occupied all the time I would say you look around at the things that you love to do if you love to do makeup keep on practicing okay if you love to do you know find new hobbies just make yourself occupied all the time that is going to you know that is going to help you actually tend not to sit down and you know think about him or her just keep yourself busy read a book watch your favorite movie if you have to go out for ice cream you know do all those things that make you happy just don't have a dormant mind keep yourself busy and occupied point number five okay you don't have to be alone don't lie to yourself that you need to be alone this is a time that you need to get up and be with your family be with your friends that make you happy okay and again i'm saying the same thing be with people that make you happy okay try to be surrounded by people that make you happy at this point of time don't lie to yourself and say hey i'm gonna manage on my own i'm just gonna be on my own because the more time you spend you know trying you know uh trying to be you know alone the more time you spend alone this is what i'm trying to get to the more time you are alone the more you know negative energy uh comes around you okay it's like you're just alone and then you don't have anything to do you're just looking around rolling your eyes thinking what makes what makes and then before you know it you're gonna be thinking about your ex and this is not what we want in this situation all right so be with your friends that make you happy be with your family that make you happy all right that way things will be much easier for you so trying to try to hang around with family and friends and the last thing i'd say is girl do you know that you're beautiful do you know that you're beautiful wake up in the morning take a bath look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself oh i'm so beautiful okay make yourself 
feel comfortable with yourself have that relationship with yourself okay this is a time that you now have you know like you have all this time to yourself you don't have to share your time with anybody else you have the entire time to yourself this is a time that you need to get up make yourself look beautiful you know just if you want to grow your hair grow your hair you know do anything okay just look in the mirror and tell yourself you know what christine you're beautiful ah uh -huh. you're beautiful yes and i know i'm beautiful <laughs> yeah so look in your uh, look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself you're beautiful no one has to tell you you're beautiful make yourself feel good okay make the surrounding around you conducive okay for the happiness that you need all right guys thank you so much for watching i hope this was so helpful to somebody out there and um i just want to say that i'll be dropping um most of such videos you know inspirational videos in my on my channel and if you have any questions or if you have any contributions uh towards what i just said please don't hesitate to drop them right down in the comment section uh down below and i guess i'll see you in my next video okay bye <laughs>